Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Casper the King and I'm back with another episode of Building with Casper. And last episode we started building some really French name, big circle thing, and this episode I've already finished it off. Because the fucking domey roof thing was so annoying, I thought I'd actually finish it off. And it actually went pretty good, if I do say so myself. So if you haven't actually seen that episode, go check it out because we done all the way up until this roof here. And then I sort of finished the rest off, and then I've decorated inside and made it fit for the level. You'll see fire in there, but that's uh, that's for the story. So, yeah, I'll just show you the inside quickly. Um, so, just basically stuck a load of barrels down, woods, just like for like wood on the floor sort of thing. Just trying to get any sort of detail out of it. And then, it's a little bit hectic in here, but it works. I like it quite a bit, to be fair. A little wheelbarrow, some gunpowder, sort of thing. Um, you know, fucking these things are lifting shit up. Mainly from the game that I got most of this from. I tried to build what was there and then just a bit off of you know, my own head. You see a lot of it on fire. That's for the storyline, as I just said. Um, but yeah, what I thought about doing after this is because if we go down here, down here, you see all the command blocks, probably better. Night vision potion. Yeah, right, so you can see all the command blocks, so that means I've basically done the storyline for this bit. So that level should be possible, but I'm not hopeful that it works first time. Usually when I get people to play test, they don't work first time. Um, but I haven't got anyone to play test now, so I'm going to play test with you guys right here in this world, because this is a copy of a world basically. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, I'm going to get rid of my armour. Right, so I've got to go and get all the assassin shit, so I'll catch you when I get there. Okay, so at this point in the story, I also have a bow. Um, it's called the Hidden Blade, so I'm going to go get that. There it is. Uh, shit, how do I get it? I just press that. Cool. And then I get these. And then I'll probably get some normal arrows, because I can get those in the story by this point as well. I'll take that. There we go. Cool. So, we'll just pop all them there. Pop them there. Have them. Right, I feel like I should be sort of ready. This is for the story, and it? Right, cool. I'll uh, catch you when we're back at the other bit. Okay, guys, so I'm back here, and I said that I'd do this level, but I'm thinking we do the level leading up, leading up to it as well, because then I can see whether these command blocks work over there. Now, this one spawns a lot of freaking mobs, so... I don't know whether it's going to lag or not, um, we'll see. I also know how to do all the levels, because I'm the one who fucking put them in there, so it's going to be really easy for me to sort of figure them out. Um, let me know in the comments if you sort of think that I should change something, if it didn't really make sense or anything like that. Okay guys, so I'm in survival now, and we're walking up to the beacon, which is telling us where to go. Um, we're just going to crack on. So That's a lot of guards, not suspicious at all. Search the house for Jermaine. Fucking hell, that is a lot of guards, Jesus Christ. Um, well, one of them burning because it's daytime. Stray's actually burning daytime, apparently. I didn't know that. Did someone just did someone just use that door? I did not know any of them could use doors. Brilliant. Right, well, we're going to crack on and go over there. So, this is the sort of way to get over. So we gotta actually fight them and find Jermaine. I know where he is. Let's see. Um, I'll do this. I wanna just jump down on their fucking heads. Fuck it. Yeah, so Jermaine is through here, so we'll get on with that. So I'm just going to go through into this little area. Um, hello, Jermaine. Follow 
me then and stay quiet. Come on, motherfucker. What's up here? Ah, decent. He'll come. Help your man escape and meet him at blah blah blah. So, that's OP as shit, goddamn. But I hit my snipe. Oh! Oh no, I'm shit! Oh no, I'm shit! Ah. What are you saying, mate? You want some? Holy shit! Now I could add these new this new mob from the 1.16 update into this because they do like five hearts of damage. One hit, which is kind of crazy. Hello. So we're in. Cool. We had to meet him at the coordinates, and I'm pretty sure they're this way here. There you go. There's the big blue beam of light. So we'll see if he's over here. See if the command blocks have worked. So that wasn't too hard. I might make it so you can't get in through the uh, through the roof um, onto that balcony because obviously you get to skip a lot of the area. Fuck it, let's just hop down. Hello, motherfucker. Jermaine? Yep, that's you. Cool. Okay, I'm back up here. I was thinking I was in creative and wanted to go and see that. Basically, I built over where it is going to be, so you actually know what building to go to. Um, so maybe I'll have to move that over there somewhere. But yeah, we're just going to sort of walk along this. And we'll drop down here. Oh, I could have got up here. That's how I get up here. Alright. Oh, I've got mobs there. I can skip these by parkouring over, but that's not going to be the case with this. My man's got a fucking iron sword, the cheeky bastard. What the fuck? Shit. shit, how do I get back up? Ah, oh, shit, did I not really think this through? Okay, so I didn't think this through. Okay, I'm back. So we just got up here, it's pretty easy to be up here, but I need to obviously add ladders and stuff to make it so I can go back. So you're back. You dickhead. Ooh. This man's got loads of health, how the fuck? Oh, I might be using a different arrow, maybe. There should be a lot more mobs in here. So we'll fight in here. Maybe I need to spawn more in here. Should be many. Hey, you, mate, what are you doing? You want to smoke? Where's he at then? Did he die? No, he fell off. The fuck? Oh, sunlight or something? Um, what was that? Okay, anyway, so we need to search the building to find where Lafreniere is. Um, so, I know where it is, obviously. It's around here. But this is like the only sort of other option. Is to sort of get up here. This is the only way up. Um, just come along here. Okay, we're back here. So, there'll be a book there telling us what to uh, do and where he is. And it tells us that he's at some cemetery thing or something like that. Um, and then, yeah, we'd obviously stand on here to get to it. Um, whatever he's planning, it's big. So I'll be looking in the thing. And now I know where to find you, Grandmaster. Hardly seems safe to leave all these supplies lying around. Shoot the three target blocks to burn the supplies. So, we'll see if this works. So, I sort of made the uh, durability on this a lot lower because I didn't want people then just using, like, getting a free sick bow. So, there's three target blocks, and I've got to get them close enough towards the center to activate enough power. All right, there you go, so yeah, they're all setting on fire. They're setting on fire now. And they're setting on fire. Now, oh, oh dear. No, of course it can't be that easy. Escape the building before it goes up in flames. So then this door then becomes able to be thingy. Find the button. Ah, oh, shit. 
Uh, right. I know where the button is, obviously, so hopefully I did connect it up. Yeah, explosion. This wall opens. Get uh, get this window. Get the way out. And then this is on a loop. We're going around here, just explosions. Just to like... Ah, oh, shit! To run through the fire, fuck it. Is it gonna fuck me up? Jesus Christ. Fuck, stop the old fire. Parkour. Do this. This way. Cough, it's actually nerve wracking. I don't want to fail a parkour. Let me through here. Just gonna keep on going with explosions just to get bad to the field. That something is happening. Oh. Ow, fucking bastard. This way. Tripwire hook. Did that activate? Okay, it doesn't activate. But now it does. So that will then stop the uh, explosion happening. So they don't go on forever. Uh, up here. Up here. Onto this, which I failed. Ow! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god! This fire is pissing me off. Huh. Yep, no, yep, and we're out. Perfect. And then obviously, I don't know how I'd do that, but maybe. Okay guys, so I'm back, I just went out to rugby and then come back, um, just loaded up the world, and I'm thinking that one of the buildings, right, that I've got to build, um, is big enough to sort of go here, and these two don't really serve any purpose for the actual thing, this is a library, and that's like a theatre, um, where I fucking, it's a fun, this is one of the first builds I actually made, I put a princess in there, so yeah, these two don't really serve any sort of purpose, um, to the storyline, so, you know, they're quite easy to get rid of, uh, it's a bit shit over here anyway, but I want to keep it the same, you know, all of this stuff because, you know, I made it as my first sort of build. This is when it all started before I actually sort of got decent and done all of this stuff over here. So, I'm going to get rid of these and I'll start making the building. I haven't really got the best photo for it because I don't know what it's called, what the actual building's called. It's just from the mission in the game. Um, and I can't really explore it very well because until I actually like get to that mission in the game because I'm just watching a guy play through at the minute. So I will cut back once I've deleted this and sorted this out. I'm probably going to sort out all of this down here as well. Okay guys, so I'm back and as you can see, I don't know if you knew where this bit was, but there was a uh, little dock sort of area, got rid of that. There was some grass here, got rid of that. Underneath this bridge over here, you saw that it was there. And these are the two buildings now gone. And erected with another fucking C-shaped building. Um, I don't know why, but that's just how most of the fucking buildings are in Paris, I'm guessing. Because uh, that's what I've got to keep building. So, yeah, then I come around here and made this a straight line. I kind of wanted to make this gap, maybe like, go into there a bit more. So it's more of a diagonal but I think this will have to do for now maybe later on but yeah so I don't know how what I'm gonna put here whether it be you know maybe another building can't really get much in there or maybe plants and shit like that a little back garden area but yeah that's what I've got to work with at the minute and I know I've got loads of buildings at like space over there but I'm not sure how much room I'm gonna need for the next two builds so with the little information I've got on this I've managed to get this roof sorted here. There's like on top of here I could do with filling in with some stone and obviously I could do my stone and andesite situation, making it just a little bit more detailed. And it's got like a little um, sort of like a canopy thing. It's like a fucking gazebo, but one that doesn't be put up and taken down. Um, I'm not sure what it's for. I'm, I'll yeah I'll put I'll put what I'm looking at on screen now so you uh, can understand where I'm trying to come from. And this one was always raised up a bit more and then I believe I need to put these in here so just make the uh, gap smaller. Maybe if I make this one a three.
that works. So if I make them offset, yeah, it'll fucking do. That will do. Um, all right, guys. So I've just finished popping in these windows. Didn't take a lot, and then I've just done this. Obviously, I haven't done the actual detailing yet. I'm gonna figure that out after. But yeah, chuck some lights around to sort of light it up. Some ladders to sort of make it usable, and you know, so I can actually get around when uh, playing in survival for the actual storyline. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna probably leave it there for this episode because I'm not sure how long it would have been with the uh, playtest and stuff like that of the level. Um, I still need to fix all of the stuff with that. So when I'm editing the video, I'll obviously go through and fix them. And yeah, let me know if you want me to do any more playtests of around the map. I could maybe do like a little series of me actually going through the map. Obviously, I know where everything is and know how to do everything, so it won't be as good. But maybe I can get someone else to playtest and. Uh, yeah, then you guys can watch that. So, yeah, alright. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.